You ready? I'm ready, baby. This okay. is this is comfy. This is nice. How's this, that chair? It's my favorite podcast chair of all time. <laughs> 100%. Okay. I'm usually sitting like this. Yeah? I got another one to show you. I might switch in. I'll show you afterwards. Even better? Maybe. It's lower, though. Okay. But, I mean, I want everybody to be comfortable, and I picture guys like you. Comfortable. Yeah. I picture, like, that's what you need. For Very Karen nice. Fiend, she could fit on a fucking, you know, yeah. on, a, on a needle. But I feel like I could have, like, a scotch in my hand right now. And I got it over there. We're talking about a... Do you remember the two old guys? The two old guys in the Saturday morning cartoons that were like safari guys. Yeah. And remember they had the map of the world? This is what it feels like. Yes. They had those yeah, hats. Yeah, it was like a brandy mm -hmm. that you could sniff. Yeah. <laughs> sniff. With, with the old map behind us? Yeah. Maps. Rules. Is that up to date? Pretty much. Yeah, I had an old, old one in the other place. And then um, and then um, it was like, wait, where's, where's the Czech Republic? Oh, Czechoslovakia. I have one. Look how big Kazakhstan is. I know. I have one in my room. From my dad's office, from yeah. uh, Willow Grove Naval Base in the in the nineties with the Soviet Union. Whoa, really? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I was in it's Vietnam. Just one, and they it just showed says USSR. Really? Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, I was in Vietnam, and they had these old maps of China there, and they're like, "Look at their Chinese maps, saying that they do not control this territory." <laughs> it's like that's them. Now they're saying it is theirs, and I'm like, "Whoa, you guys are yikes! The bitter problems." <laughs> where you been and where you going? This is Ari's Travel Show, yeah. We're gonna talk about travel today. It's UB Trippin', yeah. Uh, welcome to UB Trippin'. Yeah. The travel podcast. I take you to a new place every week with a great guest. This is the only podcast made entirely of Ukrainian refugee labor. <laughs> uh, the guest today is H. Foley. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, glad to have you on. Yeah, excited. Um... Where are we going today? Where are you going to take me? We're like, going to Greece. Greece. We'll and do you know, you're my time. you're my inspiration, you're my travel my inspiration, inspiration, because I never did anything like that ever in my life. Really? Never. Do you remember when I texted you? We hardly knew each other. I texted you a picture yeah. when I was in Hawaii. Yeah. The first time I was in Hawaii. Yeah. It was 2019. And we were walking through uh, the mountain somewhere. Yeah. And it was like this trail. And I had like the hat on and fucking, it was like, I felt like I was in fucking Laos. <laughs> and I sent you a picture of like, yeah, hey, where I'm at. I'm yeah, out you here. did it. Yeah. You got somewhere. Got somewhere. I'd never been anywhere. Doesn't it feel good? It does feel good. When you, I mean, like legitimately when you're like reach a foreign place, which Hawaii is. Mm-hmm. Um, it was to me at the time, yeah. It's still, I mean, it's it's not ours. <laughs> you True. Know? Yeah, we've colonized it for sure. But True. I, I mean, but like, uh, you just feel, I you accomplished something. Like, yeah. Look at me in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Look in at the me jungle. Now, Pop. And Greece, the one that we're going to talk about today, that was like the big one for me. So before that, it was yeah. only we went to Hawaii a few times. Yeah. Um, with the my girl now, I never traveled with any girls before this. And then when we started, when we got together after like years of being together, because, you know, I had, no, you know, no money and stuff like that. But even before we had no money, we would like go to Boston for a weekend. We'd go to D.C. for a but weekend. That's fun, too. Very fun. Never been to Boston before. Loved Boston. We went up there multiple times on multiple weekends just to, in the winter. Oh, just wow. like stayed Ooh. in the North End, stayed in the Back Bay, a couple of nice dinners, walked around, did some shit like that. Loved it. And then we slowly graduated to go into Hawaii in 2019 because that's where she's from. So, you, so she'd been there before. Yeah, she lived there. Okay, she okay. grew up there. So now, and convinced you finally, let's go. Convinced me finally to let's go. Yeah. And before that, barely anything. Nothing. Never wow. traveled at all. Never, never even on the bug. Never. I talked to Sagalo and I think Cannon once a long time ago, pre Panty at um, Stand Up New York at Eastville, mm -hmm. and um. And I was just talking about camping, and Sagalo was like, I have no interest. I'm like, really? Because it doesn't, there's nothing in it that interests me. So I think people are like that with travel too, but I, I, I want to be like, try it. I went to Lake George for two weeks, camped with, because yeah. my uh, college buddy's family had a house there. That was all right, but yeah. not a lot of interest in camping. Yeah. But travel gets like that too. Where people are like, I've never even thought about going somewhere else. But then when you do, I feel like it feels great. Yeah. Yeah. So how come Greece? Uh, we went to Greece because um, I've always lived in Astoria, which is a predominantly Greek neighborhood. It really is. Best Greek Queens, food. Best Greek food. And years ago, before I was a comedian, I dated a girl that lived on Dittmar's Boulevard, and we stumbled across K. Clytus, 
uh, Taverna K. Clytus, which is like my favorite restaurant. Where's that? Little Greek place on Dittmar's. I think they have one here, but maybe I'm not. They did. They. I don't know if they still so have it, but they did. They did have right one. Right on 14th or yes. something. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's still there. Um, and then when me Taverna K. Oh yeah. Taverna K. Okay. And then when me and my girl got together, that was like our first date was out there. We're like, maybe someday we'll go to Greece. And then when I was up here to do comedy in 2013, my first job was a Greek place in the West Village, uh, Snack Taverna, over wow. on Bedford and Morton. I love how I people love it. how people like some like pick a country like it gets in their head. Sure, like, like a like a weed, the food, the this, the yeah. that, yeah. And just some people like there. no interest in that, tons of interest in this one. And you're like okay, and then the opposite for someone else. Yeah. So okay, that's great. That's and then why, yeah. the, the only other big trip we've gone is, is France. Yeah, that's we, another time, another episode. Yeah, we went to Paris at, at, at Christmas. And everything I've been told my whole life about Europe and about all that stuff has been a complete lie. No. Yeah. What do you mean? Like what? I mean, I come from like, you know, a, a blue collar family. You know, we've down the Jersey Shore. I think the only the only big vacations we ever took was, was in 1989. We went to Lake Tahoe to see my cousins. Yeah. And other than that, it's been the Jersey Shore, the Poconos, or some off-brand amusement park. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, Europe's this, and nah, they don't like you, and this and that, oh, and all yeah. that stuff. Dude, when we were in France, it was like every everything that I was told was a lie. The, fo the food in Europe's better. The food in Europe is great. It's crazy. That's food in Europe is great. We'll do Paris next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. They, really, they, 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 really, they, really, they really got us. I, but I do remember asking you, like, did you have trouble, like, ordering English? You're like, no. No. They were all fine. All. No, <laughs> yeah. I didn't speak. I don't speak in France. I was able to. I knew a little bit to be like, hey, is it okay if we talk in English? Right. That's the only thing that I did. But in Greece, I didn't know anything. You can't. No. So where'd I just you, used an you... Italian accent the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> they did not appreciate it. <laughs> You're like it's some foreign. Like... Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Brooklyn Italian accent. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Um, where'd you start? What'd you do? So this is what we did. So it was my girl's birthday. Nice. We went on Labor Day. Okay. We were there for a week. Um, and as much as like me and my girl like bicker and argue and stuff like that, when the rubber hits the road, we travel very, very well together. Why? There'll be a, there'll be an argument at the airport. Yeah. You know what I mean? There'll be there'll be there'll be something to kick things off. From what? Tired. Whatever. Yeah. You know, we both just have like social anxiety. <laughs> you know, getting on the plane, something. She's fidgeting. You know, this and that and the other thing. There'll be a little thing. But once we get there, we're really, really good. And we've been very lucky. Even though it's only been a few times, you know, compared to like the way you've traveled, yeah, we always get real lucky with like because we don't know anything, like but, you know, neighborhood wise, whatever. So, ho pick a hotel, yeah, pick a place, pick things to do. It always works out. Can I say that I've, I've had I just like had a thought about this because when i went to southeast asia i was worried i'm like i don't know how am i going to meet people how am i going to whatever dude i was petrified to go to greece this chick i was dating she says any activity you do is going to be with a bunch of other people doing that activity who so you have some shared interest sure or other travelers i my theory is no matter what neighborhood you picked it would have been great right you know everyone gets locked in I'm like is this the right one is this the right hotel is this and you're like you're in greece it's gonna be great but i never wanted to be the guy coming back and like because when we were going oh so, fuck that you're gonna hate it over there it's all touristy they rob you everything's expensive i never wanted to be that jerk off yeah so like in in my heart i have like a traveler's heart i just never did it because i was you know lazy or broke or doing yeah. drugs in a room you know what i mean <laughs> oh yeah but oh yeah so we mapped it out. Um, so where'd you go? You went we went to Athens. So we were going to Santorini. Santorini is where we wanted to go. Okay. The island of the the Isle of Santorini, in in south of Greece. Isn't that in the Aegean Sea? Yes. It's in, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, um, <laughs> is the population forty five hundred people in the off season by any chance? Yeah, this is it. That's Santorini. Fucking shit. So there's a bunch of islands down there. and Oh, Santorini Islands? Santorini Island. Okay. There's okay. a bunch of them. There's, uh, what, Mykonos, Pyrrhos, all those islands down there. Yeah. But this one is, like, the, the main tourist spot. Yeah. Which um, somebody had just gone and was like, you should go to the other ones. It's a little touristy. But we had had our hearts set on going to Santorini. On Santorini. So we were like, fuck it. You know, we're, we're doing it. And, like, it has all those beautiful... Uh, white and blue buildings and all that stuff, and it's built on yeah that thing right there. Go back to that. 
Boom. That. That's so that it. used to all be one island, a circle. Oh, really? And then what the, a meteor hit? No, volcano. Volcano. A couple of times. But the volcano uh exploded and it and it and it and it, and it fell back in. And then that's the that's the caldera. What it, do you mean? The middle? Yeah, the middle. Interesting. I believe that's what it's called. And then on down there on the bottom is uh is an ancient city called Akrotiri. This. Yeah, that's like ten thousand years old. So before anything, they were there. Whoa. We went and we saw those ruins. Whoa. Dude, it really? Was fucking nuts. Whoa. And they 10, all ten thousand what? Like I think like ten thousand years ago or oh five thousand years ago. And it got knocked out once by something. And then these modern stairs? And then came back. Yeah. And you know what the crazy <laughs> thing is? What? When the when the volcano exploded, that's when it wiped it out. But they didn't find anything there. They only found like a couple of um like if you left in a hurry, yeah, they didn't find evidence of that. They knew it was coming, and they just dipped before it happened. Oh, they just took off. Which they can't figure out how they how they did that, and how they figured that what out. What do you mean? How they knew it was coming? That the earthquake was coming, and it's all in it's all in like you can when you when you're in the water and you and you look at the at the at the cliff, yeah. you can see the levels of like you know volcanic ash. You could see you could see it's like a it's like a like when you cut open a tree, you can you can see the ribbons of like the layers of it. Of the layers yeah, of it. That's how it was like the Western what? Wall. You can see where they put garbage on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a trash dump by the Arabs. No shit. They're like, this is important to you, and it was up to like I think like twelve feet high. You could just see the garbage line. Man, that's funny because we went when we were in Athens and we went to the Acropolis. Yeah. Um, when the Romans took over, they had like up on top where the. Um, uh the acropolis and what's the other thing called <sighs> the acropolis is on something or, yeah or vice versa yeah i can't remember what the name of it is but they turned the one thing that was like a temple to their gods into like a storage unit just to fucking just like out of spite to the greeks oh really yeah but so we we mapped it out we planned it out we're gonna spend a night in athens okay we're gonna fly into athens we're gonna see see the acropolis yeah and uh, we're going to stay. How long did you get for the whole trip? Uh, I think we were there for like nine days. Solid amount of time. So we did. You don't want to be in and out. We did the first night in Athens. Okay. Stayed at this cute little hotel that was right next, right? You could see the Acropolis and you could also see the, there's another little cliff where there's like. Like, like from the bottom, you could see right up it? Yeah. Like you were literally like looking out our window. You could see the Acropolis and you look out that window and you could see um, the, uh, it's like the Cathedral of St. George or something like that. There's two little. Like little mountains that overlook yeah. uh, that o- that overlook Athens. It's crazy. It's like Central Park, that whole mountain. It's like in the middle of the city. One hundred percent. Have you been there? Yeah, I just went. Oh, you? Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I ended my that's tour right. there. Yeah, my so European tour. We were we were literally right there. Yeah. And um, what we in France we didn't really do anything like um, like any tour guides or anything like that. But we were in the airport at JFK. Yeah. And we were like, you know what? We're going to get there. We're going to do the same thing that we always do. We're going to overeat. We're going to go back to the hotel. We're going to fall asleep. Let's fucking get a tour guide and, and go see stuff. It was like 400 bucks. It, and I, after I did it, I was like, fuck, this guy doesn't even look at the fine print. Like, this guy doesn't even come with us. Like, he doesn't come up to the thing. Just he just drives, drives us there. around. Turned out to be the greatest thing ever. Why? Because the guy was so local, knew everything, drove Damn. us right up to that. I walked you up, went up that to thing. that. Dude, I walked up that thing. Wow. And I was, I was. That's, you got a picture of that. Yeah. You got to send me a picture of that. We got pictures of that. Ask your My chick. girl has them. But I was, wow. I was 60 pounds heavier than I am now. You walked all the way up? And I walked all the fuck it's the way hard. up. It's hard. It's all thing. steps. Yeah, it was brutal. Slippery as shit. And I did it's it in slippery. Crocs. Slippery. You didn't cry. Did it in Crocs. <laughs> it was slippery as shit. But it was nuts. So I we, mean, I mean, the, to the connection when you see that or touch some of those rocks to like, thousands of years ago it's nuts yeah it's absolutely nuts to think about people li- just living out their lives yeah and then you're like are we that are we that now will people look at us will people be walking around you wow. know central park and see like little little bits and pieces of statues sticking out wow they you didn't know, even have they didn't have like neural links back then they just had the, these devices they had to hold yeah they were walking around like idiots wow walking around like idiots hey guys uh, let me just break in for one second all right, say that less Jewy. Hey guys, let me break in for one second. 
Uh, I got to tell you about H. Foley. First of all, congratulations, H. Foley, for fucking traveling, bro. This is the, one of the reasons I do this podcast, for guys like this, who aren't like fucking hardcore, you know, adventurous, but are having an adventure themselves, just getting out into the world. So it's great. Uh, I got no tour dates to tell you, but H. Foley does. He's going on tour with Are You Garbage. First and foremost, he's in Red Hook, New Jersey, the Count Basie Theater. All these tickets are available at areyougarbage.com. You can also check out H. Foley. On that podcast, Are You Garbage? I've been on there multiple times. Don't believe the end where they tell you I'm garbage. That's the fucking mainstream media selling a lie that's not true. I have class. I have class. I have fucking class. They're also doing a Route 66 tour, which seems fucking fun as shit. They're all getting in a bus uh, in September. Chicago, St. Louis, Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Albuquerque, Flagstaff, Las Vegas, and Los Angeles. Angeles, uh, home of the Los Angeles Clippers. Uh, check them all out at rugarbage.com. And don't forget to hit subscribe right now to this podcast. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. Um, and that's it. Are you guys enjoying the new studio? If you're watching it, it's built by Toby, uh, Toby McGuire, <laughs> Toby McMullen, uh, and Dees. Um, ah, we had a fucking blast. Moment. I'll talk more about it in the outro. That's it. Subscribe right now where you're listening or watching. Legitimately, do me a favor, subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget to reach out to uh, H. Foley and let him know you had a good time. H. Foley Comedy on Instagram. Follow him on there, but leave him a message. They just had fucking Luke Combs on their podcast on Are You Garbage. That's fucking good get. Um, that's it. Let's get back to hearing more about his adventure time in Greece. Just to go back, yeah. as far as what I was saying about uh, you know, all this, oh, is, the yeah. all this is new to me. Never traveled. Like, the way the Greeks were, like, how, like, hospitable they were, and, like, just how everything is set up. Like, everything was, like, you got the hotel, but, like, they did breakfast. At the hotel. But it wasn't, like, a holiday in, like, make your own waffle. It was, like, a full fucking breakfast. And everybody's running around in the black pants and the white shirts. It's like you were in a Greek diner. And, like, one guy did, like, everything. Like, he was the guy that checked this in. He was the guy that, you know, served the breakfast yeah. and all that stuff. Dude, it was nuts. The food was insane, obviously. Do you, you have Greek coffee? Oh, yeah. What is that? I, they, I ordered it once, and then I'm like, I Frappe? forgot. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's instant coffee. Oh. Yeah, it's, in, it's, <laughs> it's instant coffee, and they whip it up, uh, and then they put in uh, milk and ice. Oh, wow. It's strong as shit. It's strong. That's what I remember. I used to drink it every day when I worked at the Greek place in... In the West Village, because we would be out until like two o'clock in the morning, you know, doing spots or yeah. hanging out or whatever. And I'd have to be at work at like 730. And I would drink like four of those throughout the day to do it again. Every time I'd walk out of the restaurant at four o'clock, I'd have a massive panic attack and then just keep moving about my night. Dude, I love <laughs> <laughs> every single day. I love that um, that they're all so hospitable. So nice. It was awesome. Because yeah. that is the worry. You hear they fucking hate Americans. Here they hate Americans and this and that. But you know what I've heard? I've heard that for sure. But I've also heard like Americans tip when nothing's expected. They just fuck up and tip. I and always, so they're like, Americans are coming. We we're rich. You would think. Yeah. I mean, I always hated European tourists when they when yep. they when when they come over here. Uh-huh. Cause I would always get uh They'd come in to the restaurant before the the night before they left, so you would get like you would get tipped out in like silver dollars and change because they didn't want to bring that shit with <laughs> oh, them. Oh yeah, so they would just dump that in the fucking checkbook. What was the what was the Greek food like? It was unbelievable. I mean, How did it compare to the way you worked, Tavernica Clytus? Uh, Tavernica Clytus is pretty legit. Yeah. Uh, sna- uh, or no, Tavernica Clytus isn't where I worked. That was in uh, in a oh, story. The place that's I worked right. at Snack Taverna, very legit. Yeah. Um, it's just the ingredients were just better. Fresh. Unbelievable. Tomatoes that have never seen a refrigerator. The best feta cheese. Simple stuff. Cucumbers, olive oil, salt, pepper, a little bit of fucking oregano, a little bit of red wine, vinegar. Just knock it out of the park. The fish was unbelievable. The fish was unbelievable, huh? Yeah, everything was it's unbelievable. It's all so fresh. It's all right there. And that's what I'm saying, man. We don't have anything like that over here. Maybe... No on, hormones, may, maybe no. on Long Island in the summer or like in August when you know all that stuff is is getting harvested. But like harvested. you see them on the ocean, like they're fishing for what we're going to eat tonight. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, it was cool as shit. All right, so tell me about Athens. What so, did you do? Athens. Okay, we land there, yeah. and again, not not travelers, but we're just we we you know we get lucky and and you know we we just go with our gut. 
So we flew into Athens. We landed there 8 o'clock in the morning. We have a ferry the next morning that takes us to Santorini. Okay? Down here. Yeah. Where? Yes, yeah, that's where we are. We're right down there. So Grace. we're going to hop on a ferry down there in that bottom bottom take corner. It's Santorini. Okay. It's an eight-hour ferry, but it's like a cruise ship. So the reason we did that is because I'm petrified to fly. Okay. And Delta had a flight that went from JFK to Athens, but there was no connecting flight that took you to Santorini. You had to fly like, you know, feta cheese airlines or something <laughs> like that. And you're like, this is up. And, dude, I just I looked at, the, at, at what flights were available. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Just like, you know, their their safety history. Yeah. Which I know it's all just anxiety. And I know that. Sort of, right? But also sort of like, eh, I don't know. A little bit, yeah. But There's it's also, you're rolling, the dice, you're rolling the dice anytime. And thousands of people take those flights every day. Yeah, and United, those fucking, that, that door came off. Alaskan Airlines, Alaskan, yeah. yeah. And then they found out that like 10 other uh, planes had that. 10 other Boeing planes. <laughs> they just didn't tell anybody. Thing, yeah. Oh, that's why they're canceling all the flights. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Yeah, the 737 uh, Air Max, I think it was. Okay. Or 737 Max. It's a major feature, door staying on. Yeah. You really want That's it. not even a door. That was just a wall. Wow. Just a wall just came off. You imagine how freaked out would you, you would be? Imagine It's that. crazy how calm everybody looked in. Thank God they had their fucking seatbelts on. Dude, or you got sucked. You would have got sucked right out. Sucked, dude. Dude. And you're alive for a couple of minutes. As you're one guy said his shirt ripped off. Nuts. And so it's like, and it all paid for. It's like, yeah, if you're. How bad would that suck? You'd, have a, heart, suck. you'd have a heart attack. You get that double seatbelt thing. You'd be <sighs> like, please hold. Are these, are these working? <laughs> I got six of them on. Yeah. <laughs> Strapped in, baby. Good luck getting me out of this thing. It's nothing to me. I'm just, I'm still eating. <laughs> <laughs> we can smoke now, though, right? That's allowed now. <laughs> You're taking your mask <laughs> thing off. <laughs> just <laughs> ripping back. a heater. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that if that happens, yeah, you should be able to light one up. Yeah. If good, you're luck going get, down, good luck getting it lit. <laughs> yeah. But, if you're um, going down. Yeah, it was like, excuse me, I don't want emphysema. But that plane had just crashed uh, somewhere. Yeah, where they were they were flying over like a like a valley, and it just went and crashed. You remember that? It was a couple. It was, in Greece? No, it wasn't in Greece. It was it was somewhere in Asia, I think, or maybe. Oh yeah, me not me and Mar Air. Malaysian. Me, yes, Malaysian it was something. Air. No, it wasn't the Malaysian thing, but it was something like that. It just crashed. And it was like a, it was like a little puddle jumper with the two propellers on the side. That was also something that I wasn't getting into. Right. I'm not getting into okay. something like that. I'm not. Wait, in the so you're cool 18. with a, bo a boat? I was cool with a boat. It was a huge cruise. It was like a huge cruise ship. Okay. So we fly in to Athens. Could you eat? Could you drink on huh? the ship? Oh yeah, fucking fucked up the whole time. Nice. There is nothing because you know we fly obviously a lot for. For for comedy and the way we do it at Are You Garbage. Are You Garbage live shows on the road now. That's right. And so we fly in, do the show, wake up, fly out, do the show. So we can never really enjoy the airport other than like a nice airport breakfast. Yeah. But man, when you're traveling and you're on vacation and you get to the airport and it's like nine o'clock in the morning and you have like an hour and a half before the flight and like, all right, let's get something to eat. And then all of a sudden the light in your head goes off like, oh, I can get fucked up. <laughs> I've got nothing to do. Like we can, we have, we have a six-hour flight. Yeah, we can start fucking drinking. You could pass out in two hours. You'll still be on the plane. Doesn't that matter. is the greatest feeling of all time. Because <laughs> there is nothing better than being drunk on an airplane. When yeah. you're snuggled in and like you hear the the, the hum of the engines and you're forty thousand feet. And you got Fargo on, wow. or you're watching The Big Lebowski, or something like that. She's asleep. You got your headphones on. You're popping snacks, just crushing Bloody Marys, and just knowing that, like, whenever I'm done, I can just fucking lay back and I'm out. It's so much better to travel to to fly as someone with just a normal amount of money. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how you were as an open micer. I was so broke that when it was like. Where they were like, do you want to? I'm like, no, I can't afford. It's like eight dollars. No yeah. way. I, the, and now it's just like, yeah, you can have a couple of drinks. It's not a big deal. Not the, rich shit. Just normal shit. The uh, give me some snacks. The last time I was on a plane before we started doing good with Are You Garbage, I yeah. flew down to the Laughing Skull Festival in Atlanta. Yep. I did that one. I somehow um, found a, another comic down there that I could stay with. The dude let me stay there. I had no money. You couldn't even afford the hotel they give you a rate at. Yeah, and I flew back, and I didn't have any money to get home from LaGuardia. This is when I was living in a story on Dittmar's. I walked from LaGuardia all the way home because I had no money to take. Like, a, I had like I didn't even have money for like the subway. 
Took me three hours. I thought it was going to be like 20 minutes because it looks so close. It does look close. I had to walk across the, the Grand Central Parkway. <laughs> like a fucking immigrant? <laughs> walk, trying to run it and walk with your bag? <laughs> no, no. no, there's like the, one of the <laughs> thing Waiting, like waiting. Frog. I think we're good. I think we're good. Like, why did I pick a turn to do this? <laughs> <clears throat> and then walked and walked all the way back. So, yeah, having a little bit of money. You know, because like we're, we're we're doing good now, but doing we're doing great. like what normal people our age. It's just like it's just catching up to normal. Yes, and you're like, can you believe? I, I was with Renazisi at a, at a Yankee game once, and it rained, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, let's get ponchos. And they were ten or twelve dollars disposable, and I was just like, I can afford a poncho. Yeah, a twelve dollar poncho when it's raining. Yeah, it feels nice, especially when you're traveling to be like, ah, fuck it. It's fucking Walmart greeter level of money. Yeah, it's not a lot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just like, yes, bring me the hummus uh, snack pack. Yeah. Oh, love a nice snack pack on a plane. Nice snack pack. Love it. It's yeah, because I go full meal. I'm like, give me just a bunch of snack packs throughout. Uh, the only thing I hate on the plane is, is if you're going somewhere, like when we fly Hawaiian Airlines, Yeah, I'm expecting, give me a little taste of the island. Give me a taste of the, yep. A fucking tortellini and a red sauce? What are we doing, what are we doing here? Doing? Yeah. The fuck out of here. If you go to Greece, get me started. If you're coming home from Greece, get me started. Okay, get me started. Let me let me finish burger it Burger before we land, fucking saganaki before we take off. Sorry, me and Kippy always talk about the burger on Delta. Good. Oh, what? Oh, fucking turn your life around. I'll get it. Do get yourself it a favor. Really? Yeah. really? They're the best. Okay. It's a shitty... It's a good shitty Shit burger. Yes. I like coffee on planes and I oh, shouldn't because I like it. upscale coffee, but I'm like, it does something to me. You know what I'm doing now that I get older? Water. I love coffee with my meal. I know that's a very old man thing. Yeah, they thing. say tea because it's coffee shouldn't go with meal. Nah, you're oh, wrong. It's great. Yeah. Coffee and a burger? <laughs> oh, what? Oh, it's oh <laughs> not with breakfast, you're saying. Oh, yeah. I'm talking with, with, with wow. like dinner. Wow. Instead of afterwards having a coffee. Instead of after. Have it with it. Because when you watch old movies, all the old rich guys, they're all drinking coffee during the meal. Wow. Like, if you watch There Will Be Blood, he's having a coffee. Whoa. It's nice. It's nice. Hmm. So. So, back to. So, our plan was we fly in, we get there in the morning into Athens. Let's yeah. see Athens for a day. We had done some research. We had talked to a couple of people. They were like, you want to do. I think Mike Feeney was the one that told me this. Okay. He was like, you know, Athens is great. Get Mike Feeney on. Yep. You want to do it for a day. You know what I mean? See the sights and then get out of you there. You got to see those sights. Got to see it, those. It's, it's an unbelievable thing that everyone's heard of since you were four. Yeah. I mean, I was a terrible student in in school, but I knew about, you know, the Greeks. The and, Colosseum, the, 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 the Acropolis. There's sure. a few places on the earth. Yeah. You know, the pyramids. That you got to see. And uh, so we did that. So we went to the hotel. We dropped our bags off. We met the, the tour guide. He took us right to the Acropolis. And he's like, you know, you might have a little trouble with this. I'm like, all right. Looking at you, you mean? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no tram. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have that technology back then. Hey, Fatty, you want a Snickers bar or <laughs> Mercury something? just fucking ran you up there. Can't you get stuck there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not and it was like brutal. It was that. 700 feet up there. Oh. And I just really took my time. It was slippery as shit. But once you get up there with all those buildings up there, you're looking around and you're like, God damn. And like, that's what it looks like now. Yeah. Like, how the fuck did that last that long after all those thousands of right. years? I mean, look at these pillars. Yeah. They're still like ornate. There's, it, you know what I mean? They're still like, you can see them. It's crazy. And how long did it take to make them? How long did it take to make that? Was that slave labor? <sighs> and this whole fucking fort? I can tell you that. Yeah. That's all up there. Yeah, that's all up there. It's still there. Look at these fucking chicks. And all those things are like outlines of like buildings that used to be there. What do you mean? Like the, those those stones along the things there. What, like this? No, in front of it. This? No, when you pull pull back a little bit. Okay. Like that oh, shit. Oh, this, yeah. yeah. Those oh, right. were little was it all, So it was a whole city? Yeah, I mean, it was something. Look at the view. Was the view up there nice? Yeah, dude, it was nuts. You just it, get up there to see all of Greece, huh? It was be all of Athens. All of Athens. And mean. Athens is dirty. Like dirty. I loved with the it. graffiti. Oh, I loved it. It's it's a it's a I didn't understand this because also I thought all I thought all of Athens was this. <laughs> but it's a anarchist, You're walking around in a it's toga? An anarchist city. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and it was all graffiti all over the walls. Uh huh. But it was the, the subways, full graffiti. But it was so charming in such a in in, in, in such a weird way. And like in our hotel, across and the, uh, the he called them. Um, Jesus. They called them wedding wedding cake uh, uh, architecture. 
So all the buildings and all the apartment buildings are, are like wedding cake architecture over there. And, you know, you, you know what I'm talking about, the way it looked. Like, you look like you're in, like, Lebanon or something like that. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, I see what you're saying. The stack-ups. Yes. Look at that. And oh, right I across from us, these guys, as, yeah. we, as we were going to bed at, like, 11 o'clock, were setting up, like, DJ equipment on the roof. And, like, I woke up to piss at 3 o'clock in the morning, and there was a full-scale rave going on across the street <laughs> on, roof? on this roof. It was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. It was what awesome. a great attitude. Instead of being like, "What the fuck?" Oh, no, I mean, when, when you're doing that stuff, you gotta you gotta roll with it. Yeah, you know. So we woke up in the morning, got into a uh, a cab, yeah, like a regular cab. And that's that's my only thing. If if you know, I get to a place where I can't get an Uber or something like that, I'm gonna be a little because I don't love public transportation. Well, how are the, cabs? the the Ubers were fine. This cab that we got was like something out of Jason Bourne. The guy was like maybe 10 years older than me. He was about 400 pounds. He had glasses that were the thick as Coke bottles. And it's a half an hour ride from our hotel to the to the port. We did it in about 10 minutes. Because he fucking it just. It was 6 in the morning. And dude, stick shift. Just. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Windows are down. <clears throat> and we're both sitting there. Me and my girl looking at each other like, do we say something? And we just went with it. Got there. Got on the boat. And the boat was like uh, was just like a little cruise ship. We had we got a little room, and the reason we did that was because of the because of the flights and because of uh, we're like when are we going to be in the Aegean Sea again? So, so you got it, a room in it. So we got a little like oh, a little like jealous. a little cabin in it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah was we saw right. those. We're like, Dude, damn. people were like sleeping out in the thing. Oh yeah. Oh, it was brutal. We got first class. wasn't much more. Yeah, but it was like. A little nice. It wasn't just chairs. It was like tables. Yeah, wait. I so saw you, those cabins. You took a ferry too. Not to there, to a different island. Okay. Yeah. So that's so I know ferry. what you're talking about. It's uh, great. Blue Star or whatever. Maybe. Yeah, Blue Star. Um, nice little like, you know, restaurants and lounges and stuff like that. Um the yeah, the cabin wasn't great. But we were but like, it was a place. Yeah, it was a place to go put, put your shit down. So you one person have to stay if you're going to the bathroom. My biggest thing is fucking gypsies and uh, pickpocketers and Can all I that. Can I tell you, like, e you know, stuff. the N word is terrible. Um, everybody, racism is wrong. Uh -huh. There's no pushback to the racism against gypsies in Europe. They all fucking hate them. They're brutal. They're not like, well, you know, they're all people. They're like, fuck them. Get them out of here. In Scotland, in Spain, they're like, fuck them. Yeah, well, they're, they're publicly. They're robbing you. They're, they're robbing everybody. So that was my that was my biggest fear. So that's why we got a we got a thing. So we knew where our bags was and stuff like that. Got bags that had locks on them and all that stuff. And I was very over, you know, over anxious about, about all this. Yeah. But we wanted to take the ferry because it stopped at the different islands, and it was just, you know, nice to look out the window. Like when you pulled up to the first island, I got this driver's name. I want to find it, but go ahead. When you anyway. pull up, when you pull up to the to the uh, other island, you walk out onto the deck, and you, you're pulling up and looking at a fucking ancient Another island. island. Yeah, it's wow. pretty cool. So that took eight hours. So we, you kept stopping at places. We kept stopping at places, and then that's a pretty cool way to see it, though. See the ocean. Like that's almost like a trip you would do four hours out, four hours back. Yeah, just a fun eight-hour trip. It was nice. We flew back. We ended up flying back because we got like a. It was like Aegean uh, Airlines, which yeah. they had like good the nice uh, safety, okay. safety records and stuff like that. Plus, I wasn't doing that uh, ferry ride again. <laughs> we did it, buddy. But pulling into. Also, somebody said that if you take the ferry, because we watched like a bunch of YouTube videos and stuff like that, if you take the ferry, the 20 minutes pulling into Santorini is worth the eight hours. Why? Just because it's so beautiful. It's just like, like dude, it's a cliff. And this, these, these little towns in Santorini are built in the cliff. Like the one place, um, I want to say a Moody Bay or something Bay yeah. over by Ia, it looks like a Disney attraction. It's the only, it's the only place on the island. So the 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 part of the island that faces the the caldera. Wow, look at that. Is literally like that. That's it. Moody yeah, bed. yeah, that's it. So, dude, right there. Wow. That 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 is all built into the side of that cliff. Yeah, dude, look at that. No fucking way, dude. It's nuts. That what looks the like a Disney. F we ate literally right there on that on that little thing. What do you mean? Look we, at it. a little wow. restaurant. Yeah, and then above that is 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 Ia. And it's all built into the side of the cliff. And you see what I'm talking about? You can see the different, like, levels. Oh, yeah, the levels. Yeah. And stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, it looked, I, it was like walking into Pirates of the Caribbean or something like that. See this like shit? That. 
Yes, all that stuff. This is the octopus is hanging up. It's great. Drying in the in the sun, right, right next to safety of water. It was <laughs> Just dried him right above that. God, so funny. <laughs> it's like put you, you in prison right next to your mom's house. <laughs> you almost made it, dog. <laughs> you can smell her chilling, cooking. Yeah. So we get there. We got an Airbnb. It, Shake it off. Yeah. We got an Airbnb. This this we, we had the whole house to ourselves, right on the um, on the northern tip of the island. We had the best view of the sunset. On the island. Wow. Had a private pool. No, really? Literally on the cliff. It was unbelievable. This shit is wild. Dude. dude, it was great. Never seen anything like that in my life. Gorgeous. Look how clear the water is. Nuts. It was like that? It was love that. It was just like that. Wow. It was gorgeous. Yeah. I only really? went in the water once, though, because it's not really there's not a lot of beaches on that island. It's rock, right? It's rock. Yeah. Yeah. And you, and to get to the beaches, you either have to walk like really down like to me, a treacherous walk yeah. to get to the ocean on the other side. Yeah. Or you have to you have to get there by boat. So what'd you do? Relax, ate, drank? So we um like I said, well, first of all, we get there, we yeah. pull in, and my my radar's up of getting robbed, of getting this, of getting that. When we were in Athens, I bought like a little pocket knife. Just in case there was, just in case I had any trouble. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm I'm an anxious guy. So we pull into the port yeah. on the thing, and you know we don't want to. We're not waiting for a bus or anything like that. So I go up to this guy. <laughs> just like, hey, I want to ride. <laughs> Looking for trouble. <laughs> I go up to this guy, and like it's like a parking lot, and like everybody's going different places and all that stuff. And I see a dude in one of those Mercedes vans, and I'm like, how much it take us to, you know, this place? And he's like. Um, 35 bucks. I'm like, all right, cool. So we get in, put our bags in there, and he's not going. He's still standing outside the door. And I'm like, well, what's going on? He's like, oh, I got to get more people. Oh, and I'm wow. like, no, 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 no. So already I'm like, no, 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 we're not doing this. I'm like, no, how much did you just take us? He's like, 100. And I'm like, fine, let's go. Don't care. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, great. I get it. We get in the car, and so it's like a crescent moon island. Okay, just for the people that haven't been there. It's a Crescent Moon Island. There's two, like, big towns. There's Ia, which is a little bit more touristy, and then there's uh, Thera, yeah. okay, which is a little bit more locally. All right, yeah, so so there, so, so there it is. So Thera would be, like, in the bottom, yeah. like, right uh, on the inside, and then, oh, like here. yeah, and then Ia is up Mark there. Is up here. Yeah, Ia's up there. We stayed just a little bit north of Ia to the left. We were right oh, there. See the Dude, we were right see there. See the it was sunset. nuts. Wow. It was nuts. So Damn. we say to the guy, all right, yeah, t t take, t take us over by Ia. We're driving, and, and you go, everything, there's nothing in the middle there. So you have to go to the other side of the island, the back side of the island. That's where the highway is to get what, everywhere. Like this side? Yeah, you go around that. Oh, that's where the airport is. Yes. So you go around that to, to get there. Wow. We get in the thing. Is it ancient Thera? Yeah. Okay. We get we get we get in the car. We're driving and we're on like you know. And the only thing I have compared to is movies. So do you remember in the beginning of the Godfather two when they when they were the funeral procession was going over the rocks? No. In the very beginning, it, it, it was just all rocks. Okay. It was just all dust and rocks, and there was a little hut, like it was like something out of Star Wars. Like you'd see like a little like clay hut or a little this or a little that, but it was nothing. And we're on this like abandoned road and we're driving and all of a sudden this guy just stops and pulls over. So the knife came out and I just had it like down here on my thing. This is like a little pocket knife. It'll do it. This guy would have kicked job. the shit out of me. <laughs> you would have like, <laughs> looked would've at it down there. Like, <laughs> pulls over to the side and all of a sudden another car pulls up behind us. And I'm like, fuck, oh, fuck. this is it. And I am freaking out. And he just turns around and he goes, so um, my shift is over, okay? We're going to switch drivers, and he's going to take you there. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, I thought for sure they were kidnapping us. But this is me being the over-anxious, pussy American. It, but it's also like, we don't have anything like that here. No. I've never heard of that. What? Even the shared cab. It's like, what do you mean waiting for people? Yeah. Dude, can you imagine being being on the subway and it stops in the middle of the thing and the and the and, and the, the conductor's like, all right, guys, that's my shift. And another guy got on and, and, and finished the <laughs> finished the ride. Freak out. But dude was cool as shit. Got in, 
took us to the place. The place was awesome. Only wow. thing, they don't throw the toilet paper in the toilet. They don't throw the toilet paper in the toilet. Oh, I yeah. got to ask you about toilets. That is, how many times did you fuck up? Uh, not that bad. Okay. Because luckily, I had just started, my the I, I had kind of just started the Ozempics, maybe for like, I think, two months, and the side effects were really starting to set in. So I didn't shit like most of the time wow. that I was there. Wow. Lucky for them, I could have ruined the island. What, uh, <laughs> what, um... Okay, so you got to throw it in the trash can. Throw it in the trash can. How's that with a chick? I mean, she was doing the same thing, and somebody came every day and took it out. Oh, they did? Yeah. I just, I just every time I've been with a woman in a place like that, I'm like, I'm not letting her see my fucking toilet paper, my dirty toilet paper. But everybody does it. And you've been, you've had to have been in so many places. Where, I have. Where, where that's the norm. You know what I did in Ecuador? What? Took it with me. Rolled it, rolled it, rolled it, took it with me, threw it outside. All right. Yeah, but but sometimes I forget, and I'd be eating at a restaurant or something. I'm like, oh, shit, I still got a fucking wad of shit paper in my... Are you kidding me? No. How many wipes do you... Dude, I would never be... I, I, mine's like a duffel bag. Yeah, it's a lot of wipes. Oh, my God. You wouldn't smell that through your sweatshirt? Occasionally, yeah. Oh, dude, you're worried about the girl scene. That you're eating with fucking with shit paper in your... <sighs> Looking back on it now, it's not the best. Oh, dude, that's brutal. But here's the but thing. But you did it, yeah. Again. It's just hard because what is it? But you get used to it. Well, go ahead. It's never that bad. It's never that bad. It's, they do it. They do they it. They do it. It's not like you're like, hey, for the only people on earth are going to have to deal with this. It's like you go to Bonnaroo and Bonnaroo, and then we're like, can you believe these people camp here? I could never be a gen pop. I'm like, well, 80,000 people are. Like, someone can do it. It's never that bad. It did, yeah. the, the bathroom did smell a little bit like sewage. Yeah. Like the first day. But also, it all does there, right? The bathrooms. Yeah, they all just kind of have that volcanic ash or not quite that clean water. That sulfury kind of smell. Yeah, you couldn't drink the water. Couldn't it's drink the water. It's also things we used to, right? You got to get used to that. Again, here you go. Lied to. Those European bottles of water, they're all right. They're ice cold in the fridge, too. Yeah. And they're they're weird looking. They're different than our than our waters. <laughs> what do you mean? I love this. I don't know. They're just they just look weird. The shape different. They all look like orangina bottles to me. Oh yeah, up and then curved. Yeah, yeah. they're strange, but they were great. It's like you know Icelandic this or or, or whatever. Dude, I love those little uh, cultural observations you can make where it's oh. like the street signs are in different font. Yeah. Or or the background color is different. Or right. Or the water bottles shape different. The water here. bottles are weird, and their water bottles the caps stick to the water bottle. Like if you when when you pop it off, it stays there because oh. they don't want it probably getting dirty. No, they don't. Away. They don't want it. Yeah, they don't want it for like In recycling and littering purposes. Yeah, they really interesting. man. Interesting. They really are ahead of us with a lot of that stuff. Yeah. No, you know, no hormones and antibiotics. Everything is just. You feel good, right? Yeah, it's crazy. You feel good. You're not and you're not eating like salads. I mean, it's a Greek salad, sure, but like you're not yeah. eating salad. You're eating. Restaurant food. Ate, We're on dude, vacation, and ate you're like still a feeling good. Felt great. It's nuts. What? Tell me about the, some of the food. Uh, so the food was unbelievable. So we get to Santorini. First of all, they lay stuff out for us. Eggs yeah. on the counter. Red flag right there. They don't put the eggs in the refrigerator. But why? Because they don't bleach them. They don't wash them off. Yeah. So we didn't touch them. But yeah, we had a lady where we were staying. On our windowsill one day, it was like, what the fuck? Just 12 eggs. Yeah. And we're like, oh, my God. So she's like, man, we've got tons of chickens. We but when you crack them open, open, they're the most golden eggs you've Orange. ever seen in your life. Yeah, it's they're not. Like, I mean, yeah, not yellow at all. Yeah, it's nuts. We've been lied to the whole we've time. We've been lied to. I mean, it's really like darker than that. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's tough to point to India and say darker than that. It sounds, <laughs> sounds a bit racist. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Mr. Shapiro's comments you garbage, are no way associated. You garbage host. Do not stand by these comments in any way. Um, so the first thing we did was we went to a Moody Bay. Okay. So we walked down there, and and the steps were brutal. It was, it's all walking, and unless you're taking a car, yeah. you're really jammed up. So We're jammed up. You can't get anywhere. Oh, right. Especially if you're fucking 400 pounds. You rented a car? Didn't rent a car. I'll get to it. Okay. You ready? So we walk down to, um, we walk down. We're, we're right at the at the tip of where you walk down to a Moody Bay. Walk down, and I see that, and I'm like, holy shit, man. 
That's when it like hit me where you were. Yeah, that, that all those things it, 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 up against the wall, up, up oh, against right, the cliff. The, 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 so and that's the only that. place. That's the only place that's that's like that on the island where it's lower. Everything else is up top. And I was like, holy shit! Walk up to this restaurant, sit down, order a Greek salad, order some tater musalata, which what? is like the the salmon dip. That's good. Oh, it's my it's favorite. All the dips are so fucking good. Dude, I knew all the food before working at the restaurant. And I, dude, I I probably put on 60 pounds when I worked at Snack Taverna. Yeah. That's how good the food was. And I would just pita. The garlic dip, the eggplant dip, the, the salmon dip. Melatsana salata, taramusalata, tzatziki, oh. saganaki. Saganaki, dude, is my favorite. Dude, the Greek salads, the, the borekis. All that stuff. Saganaki is just a block of cheese that's kind of congealed, but yeah, also it's, pork. It's a block of kefala. Most people use kefala tiri cheese with a little. It has a little dusting of flour on it. They fry it, and you hit it with lemon and Ooh. some chopped up tomato. God damn, it's good. Good night. Uh, I'm a huge fan of um, grape it's just, leaves. It's just so good there. You get it here sometimes. You're like, all right, yeah. but there it's like, what the it's fuck? Nuts. You like grape leaves? Love a grape leaf. A dolmade, love them. I probably ate about four thousand of those oh. when I was over there. <laughs> Finger foods, <laughs> just crushing them. So we get there, we get uh, we get some prawns, we get all that stuff. We load up, we eat, feel great, and so I'm a lot like my dad. Like any any reaction, no, we're not. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. But my girl's a little bit more adventurous. Okay, good. So we're seeing these like doom buggies. Everywhere, like little like ATVs. You're seeing ATVs, and we're seeing doom buggies where like you get in, but they're like little tiny cars. Okay, you know what I'm talking about? I, but they have a cage. Yeah, they have a cage, like a little doom buggy like that. See if it pops up. Exactly. No fucking way. Right. No fucking way did you take one of these. So listen. Zero chance. Zero fucking chance you got in one of these things. Zero chance that I would ever say yes to that. Um. Insurance purposes, getting injured purposes. <laughs> fitting. I, I don't trust myself fitting in it. This chick barely fits. I don't trust myself to drive this. And no, we're not doing that. And whatever. So that night, we want to go up to Ia, which which is close to us, but it's a hump. And we walk up this mountain, like it felt like a mountain, but it was literally just an incline all the way to Ia to yeah. get to where um all the all the like the 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 white and blue places are okay on top. Pull up, pull up, Ia. Not those ones up top on the right. The ones up top there on the right. These, yes, oh, up wow. there. So the whole thing up there, it's all connected. It's all walkways. Whoa. There's no streets, and it's all like made out of fucking marble. Really, dude, it's nuts. Walk down. Look at this. Let me Walk see. Down Ia. Step, steep oh, I, steps. Oh, steep I. steps. Steep steps. Walk down steep steps. You got to go all the way around that swimming area. Yeah, that. It, cliff it, jumping. Getting around was brutal. If we didn't have, if we didn't get this thing, we would have had such a miserable time because we wouldn't have gone anywhere. You played at places like this, right on the water. Yeah, that's exactly. I think that's exactly where we ate. We sat literally right there the, when we were eating the the, the first night. Wow. It was unbelievable, and like people are rolling in in little boats with like bags of fish, and like walking them and handing them to the to, to like the restaurant owners. They got the fish all laid out on ice. The beers are ice cold. What was the beers? Do you remember? Uh, fix. I'm a big fix guy. Love a fix. P H Y F I X. F I X. Okay. Yeah. Good, good, good Greek beers like pills. These steps. So all that shit. Love a local beer. Oh. Love a, like a. What do you guys drink? Yeah, love let me have a it. local beer. Like you know what I fell in love with. It's not not that it's local, but from going to Korean barbecue is um, uh, acai or acai. acai. Yeah. Oh, dude, the super dry. Acai. Yeah. One of those screaming cold. They've gotten me off of IPAs to go lighter beers. So all that stuff up there, up top. Yeah. It's all marble. It's all shops. It's all restaurants. And then as the tiers go down, they're all little hotels. So all those little spots there have like a little baby pool or like oh, a little hot tub. Wow. And that's what people and you look out over the water. And you look at that. The whole thing is looking out God over the damn. caldera. At sunset, boats roll in. And it's it, like the sun's like from here to that light. And you're just sitting there watching wow. this thing go down. It's nuts. And we got to do it in, a, in, in our pool at the at the Airbnb. It was awesome. Wow. Coolest thing ever. So normally when we go to places, she's like, I want to rent a car. I want to do this. And I'm like, no, we're not doing that. And it's a fight. And it's this. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. 
Yeah. Walked up to walked up to Ia that night and was like, We're not doing this anymore. <laughs> Next morning we got up, we went to this rental place. Give me one of those. No fucking way, dude. Give me one of those. I'll send you a video. <laughs> no fucking way. Dude, I'm telling you. Oh my god. It'll take me a minute. I don't know if you wanna Yeah, we could pause. <laughs> what the fuck? No fucking way. Yeah, hang on. How did it drive? Dude, it was awesome. Yeah. Oh, here it is. You got it? Dude, zipping around. No, it's like a big golf cart. What yeah, the Yeah, it's fuck? like a big golf cart. That looks so fun. Dude, it was fucking the greatest. It Open was, air, warm. It was one Dude, of those Dude, you moments. look like you're having a blast. It was one, and I never have a blast. You look like you're on top of the world. Top of the world, baby. Had my girl with me, zipping around this island. Never, 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 never. That's the thing with, with, with travel that's opened up my eyes. I'm always so resistant to that stuff. Yeah. And then when I that's finally get you, that's how they get you. Yeah, I don't want no, to. I don't, you don't no, have to I'm get not that. getting ripped off. And then I get into an accident and, you know, this, that, and the other thing. Or if I get a ticket and yeah, I did get gonna... a ticket and all I did was give them 40 bucks when I turned the car and they're like, we'll take care of it. Cool as shit. Wow. Drives around the whole island on that thing every day. Got up. Parked right out in front of the Airbnb, hopped in that thing, drove drove over to Thera, drove that thing over to the ancient ruins at Akrotiri. Yeah. Oh, really? On the highway, just fucking, and dude, <laughs> you're going like 40 miles out. an hour. Oh, my dude, God. Dude, it was just so cool. Went all around the island in that thing. The thing about cars are you can stop wherever you want instead of like stop public transportation or, or or like a driver or, bu you know, or something where they take you. Yeah. You can be like, oh, that looks cool. Let's just pull over here. It was like our second to last Get some day. ice cream. Yeah. Second, to, yeah, pull over, grab some ice cream. Let's grab a coffee. Yeah, you forget. You can just do that with a car, especially you know. I know how like Kevin and I are, you know, with with you know stand up and and, and you know you're you're and, you know you're so focused. We got to get there. You got to get there, and you're focused, and like every day it's this, and you're never really winning. You're never really feeling like you're winning. But when you have those moments where you're like, oh fuck, let's stop and grab a coffee. We can stop and grab a coffee. I know that sounds crazy. Yeah. To most people, but you're just you don't think that way. I get it. And when you can just because also you're already you're already you're going you're headed somewhere, but you're already there when yeah. you're driving to. I, oh, hey, I want to go to those ruins, but you're really already there already. The drive is part of the trip. Yeah, drive is part of the trip. So it's like the ruins is just kind of like today's destination, but really it's if we uh, oh, we got sidetracked, we never made it. No big deal. Having the freedom in that little cart to just fucking pull you over. see like a sign and said like some other ruins that way Let's or some go. like quarry. Like, you want to check out the quarry? To Must whip have, around, dude, go up. We did that every day. Wow. And we're driving, we're like the second to last wow. day before we left, I hadn't been in the ocean. Yeah. And I was, and we're driving back and I'm like, because it wasn't really any, any, there wasn't like a beach scene or anything like that on that island really. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Just fucking pulled off, drove all the way down, down this like private driveway, made a left, made a right, fucking got to the ocean. There was one other couple out there like doing the same thing. Walked down, ripped my shirt off, and just jumped, jumped in the in. Aegean Sea. That's fucking awesome. For like dude. two seconds and then That's got out. That's fucking awesome. No, but you touched the water. Something touched my foot. <laughs> but literally, just, and you know, she was standing there watching me. I just jumped into the, the Aegean Sea. Yeah, when are you going to? Ancient Ocean. Yeah. Or Ancient Sea. So Hercules fucking went. Yeah. Getting laid down there. He was doing all right. Yeah, Brad Pitt. <laughs> Knockout back then. Knockout. He's a 10 now. He's he was a, a yeah. 40 back then. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Didn't have leprosy. He's probably cleaning up. Yeah, it was nuts. It was nuts. It was such like a freeing, like emotional thing. How'd you feel? Yeah. Awesome. Just getting that thing, dude, the whole time, I'm so sorry. I can't believe that I was such a dick about this. This is the greatest thing ever because I am so like that all the time with like, no, no, my instant. No, we're not doing that. We're yeah. not doing that. It's crazy. We're not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. And when you let go, it's fucking, it's when fun shit happens. Damn. Pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. Now the food knockout just. Unbelievable. Everything that we talked about. Simplest stuff. Fried sardines, fried anchovies. The fried sardines and anchovies, yeah, which I would never want. Dude, un a little bit of lemon, an ice cold beer, knocking those things back. Uzo? Oh, after every fucking meal, an Uzo and an espresso. What's Let's that red, go. nice drink? It's like light. You drink it before dinner or just an like a Aperol beach. spritz? Yeah. Yeah. 
I love those out there. Yeah. And aperitif. Aperitif. Yeah, but the Uzos, when they give you the little bottle and you just keep like filling it up for love yourself, it. it's chill. Oh, they're over ice, right? Uh, yeah, they do Uzo over ice. I, I yeah, yeah. was always a, Zam a Sambuca guy. Sambuca, okay. So I just use Uzo the same way, which is basically the same right. shit. Just the flavor is a little bit different. Just like a licorice liqueur. But that, pour it right into the double espresso. Whoosh, knock oh. that back. That's another thing, too, over there. What? Espresso after lunch? What are we doing over here? We're running around. <laughs> yeah. These people got it figured out. We got to go back over there and take over Europe. Let's go. Let's go. Take it over. Dude, that sounds so fucking cool. This whole trip sounds so fucking cool. Dude, it was awesome. It was awesome. The salads were unbelievable. Feta cheese. Uh, a little bit of dill, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and this old bread like that they made croutons with that was so good. It was almost like but they served it as bread, or just no, the they served it crushed up wow. into the salad. All that, all like that peasant food kind of stuff. Man, it's so good. Yeah, I bet you get down too with food. We're like, let's eat, let's oh, have a fucking good time here. Yeah. We're never here. Yeah, dude, we were going for... nuts. Nice. We had like two dinners every night. That was it. We were just talking about this uh, the other day because we, me and my girl went to uh, K. Clytus because we were doing something over on Dittmar's. And I was like, my biggest regret about uh, I was mad at certain times when we'd go to a restaurant and I was still kind of full and couldn't really do the damage. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like you look back and you see like why like the Romans and the Greeks were like binging and purging. Oh, the vomitoriums? Or Nothing they wrong with that. <laughs> Nothing wrong. Got to eat. <laughs> yeah, dude, Got to smoke right. up a little more room. Go right yeah. back in. Yeah. And then head right back into the restaurant. That's my tip. I'll ask you for a travel tip for a second, but that's my tip for Mexico City. <laughs> One taco and go. One taco and go. Oh, sure. You're going to be like, good. Let me have three. Like, then they're going to find another fucking yeah. good truck. You're not going to be able to do it. Yeah. No. Yeah. We, 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 we were during the day, we were doing that, but then overindulging in dinner. Yeah. But yeah, a little taste of this, a little taste of that. Try the gelato here. Grab an espresso there. Try espresso one of these cookies lunch. here. Espresso after lunch, Ari. Great idea. Espresso yeah, after, after lunch. lunch. Not dinner. Can't do dinner. I'll be up. No. But after lunch, that's fine. That's the right time. A little espresso, a little double shot. It's double shot. Yeah. <laughs> now let's go out. Let's go. Knock it back. Chick loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Yeah. She was blown away. Yeah. Loved it. So I'm saying you're definitely set. Thumbs up on this trip. Thumbs up. <laughs> and so then what, you took the plane back and then flew home? No, then we took, uh, so we stayed there. Yeah. You know, we stayed there for how many days? Five, six, seven days, whatever it was. And then we flew back from Santorini to Greece and then stayed one more night in Athens. Got another hotel. Didn't go back to the same hotel, obviously, but in the same kind of general area. Yeah. We got back there. And that whole day, we just went around to that uh, that open air market. You know what I'm talking about? Um, well, it's like in the middle of where like the Acropolis is. It's like looking down. Okay. It's like open. It almost looks like Union <laughs> Union Square. And it's a bunch of shops. It's a bunch of this. It's a bunch of that. Little restaurants. Maybe. And all that shit. Walked around all that. Walked around the, the ancient graveyard for a while. Yeah. Had a nice dinner at like a local uh, place in Athens that was probably the best food that we've ever had. Wow. They had these little anchovy fillets that were like cold and like it was like dude again it was just the like food. olive oil and lemon dude putting that on bread with a screaming cold beer yeah and some dude was like playing Greek music in the in the restaurant oh it was awesome it also doesn't to me I didn't say you tell me but it didn't feel like it was put on for tourists it felt legitimately authentic legitimately authentic like when I went to um, Stav's podcast and he has that that background mm -hmm. of, a, of a taverna mm -hmm. with the ocean and i'm like i love yeah, this that. is just the experience he goes yeah. oh yeah everyone goes to the islands it started with greek tourists yeah just like on vacation like we go to wildwood yeah you know it's for people on vacation but not like tourists not tour yeah not american not like you yeah know, american tourists that's just how so they they're not do doing it. like like a luau which is also fun but yeah. like they're not doing these normally no you know but this shit like yeah i feel like they're having that this is just a we friday just night to walk in yeah people are gorgeous too in greece a little hairy well, it's hit or miss. It's hit or miss. Either, <laughs> <laughs> either they're knockouts or they look like me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But yeah. Was, I think Stav's actually going to go either way right now. We're going to see it either really go to that <laughs> creepy Greek dude or like still lovable. Stav's a good looking kid. What are you talking about? He's got I, I, great he luck. ages is what I'm saying. Oh, sure. Stav at 45 could go one of two different ways. I think he's going to look fantastic. <laughs> um. Um. Any like any tips you would have given yourself before you went? 
um, that you would give to anybody else? Like, make sure to bring, I don't know, flip flops. Again, sure I, I never want to be, you know, that guy because I know that I'm, I'm not a, not, not, not a traveler. Uh, but specifically with this trip, um, I mean, honestly, get a car. I guess is one. Yeah, get that. Yeah, get get that buggy. Yeah. You know what I mean, and zip around. Um, but but no, you know, it just yeah. it, it, it you know it worked out. It, it worked out. Uh, Any regrets? Mm, Wish I had. No, no regrets. You know, um, when we got there, I got like maybe like a, like seven hundred bucks in cash. Had a little bit of cash on me. Oh, Used the tip. card for everything else. You know, they what I do mean? like cash there. They do like cash there. That's what I. That's now thinking about. That's a tip for I would give anybody to go to Greece. I always, I always tipped in cash. Yeah, always tip. Put put it on the card. I had one lady go like put a card. She says no, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> just wave it off. They did, <laughs> like a lot, a of, a lot off. of places didn't want to take American Express. Right, but that's because um, fees or something. No, American Express doesn't fuck around at all. Like you can, they'll just cancel the payment. So if they're trying to do anything shifty, like, no, no, no. they don't. They don't want. They don't want to deal with American Express. Yeah, because they're because they're they're brutal. But yeah, paid for the meal with a credit card and threw a you know threw a ten or a twenty down for, for the tip. You as a waiter, that's always what you do, right? Always, yeah. Tip cash. I mean, no, not not, not here, but like oh, in, no? in that situation, I I do it because I don't want because that doesn't show up on the credit card. What doesn't the, the tip? It takes like a you know twenty four hours for that to appear. So like let's say the bill was a hundred bucks, it only says a hundred bucks, That's and then the next day it's oh it's one thirty or you know right. whatever. So I was just I was just doing it to keep my uh, keep my ducks in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, that sounds fucking amazing. It was awesome, man, and I I really mean that when I say that you're one of the people that you know really inspired me to 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 do that kind of shit. I love it. It's like I mean, I went I'm not too. ready to ride an elephant through Vietnam or whatever the fuck you're doing in <laughs> Thailand. But yeah. But they play harmonica. It's great. Very humane, I heard. Uh, <laughs> didn't that happen? Didn't, did, didn't like Louis Anderson or something like that see you like riding riding like a giraffe through uh South America or something like that with like Ari? Uh I I I've run into random people sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I was in the church of the Holy Sepulchre. And my brother was like, well, I came here yesterday while I was hanging out with my old rabbi. And he was like, so I already saw this. I'll wait in line if you want to, like, walk around. And I did. And then turn the corner. Tom Rhodes is like, Ari? I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck are you doing here, That's dude? That's nuts. Um, That's nuts. The Church <laughs> of the Holy Sepulchre. Yeah. Isn't it like the, isn't it like the Knights of the Templar and shit yeah, like that? Yeah, they do all that shit. Where they, where they have, yeah, they're dressed like that. They're just weird. Where they where they say, like, that's where, like, the Holy Grail is and stuff. That's where Jesus was, like, his, his tomb is. They have the stone where they washed him. Really? Yeah. They have all that stuff there? Old ladies crying, touching it, crying. No kidding. I put a cross on it because I wanted to get something for Steve Simone. He's real religious. Uh-huh. And I was like, he'd like this. I might buy him something, um, and then Tom was like, "No, no, go!" Get, I, I was gonna get a fridge magnet. He goes, fridge, go get a cross. I'm like, "Where do I get?" They're selling them out there. You touch it they on the fucking your stone. Phone finger says yeah. Jesus number one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, "You put it on the stone, it gets power." Really? And so I did. Everyone was doing that. Gave it to him. He gave it to his mom when she had COVID. They tell her like, she's not gonna make it. She's uh, she's not gonna make it. Um, and then right then, those uh, whatever treatments they had in Florida. Yeah. They just passed that as legal. Turned around. She goes, it was the cross. No way. Yeah. She goes, Ari did it. I'm like, well, if you're going to get rid of me, you got to give some Jesus some credit. <laughs> this is in Jerusalem, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But she was back in Florida. But like, I took it home to him. Man, that's crazy. Israeli food's top shelf, too. <sighs> Another time. Anything down, anything over there. It's all overlaps. Yeah. The Greeks, the Turks, yeah. the, yeah, it's all banging. Hey, come back on this for, for Paris for sure. But love another it. time, if you want to interview me about a place, because I'm love some that. of these. Yeah. Okay. I'd love that. You That'll are, you nice. are the travel guru of the comedy world. <laughs> I, love, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. <laughs> don't trust the drink around me, but trust me on travel <laughs> tips. <laughs> Thank um, you for having me, buddy. Yeah. H Foley, check him out every week on Are You Garbage? Yeah. Um, and uh, with, with the, uh, Kevin Ryan and uh, and Toby, who yep. built this whole studio. We designed it together. Um, Looks great, man. This is awesome. Yeah. Where are you on Instagram? Uh, at H Foley Comedy. H Foley Comedy. On the gram. Buddy. Love thanks. you, pal. Love you, too. Love you, bandit. Yeah. yeah snoring. Peace. Well, guys, that's the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. The, dude, the, just seeing him, how happy he was on that dune buggy. I mean, it just made me laugh. And I'll be honest with you. When he said that I'm the reason that he went to Greece, that he went traveling, 
yeah, that made me feel good. You know what I'm getting a lot of in the comments on YouTube? Make sure to leave your own comment. It's people going, you've made me want to get out and go. Or I, plan I, I, I bought a ticket to India because of this podcast. Leave more of those in the comments. Hit subscribe right now. YouTube.com slash at UB Trippin. Um, we're also on Instagram at UB Trippin Pod where we put up the pictures of the guests every week um, and some clips. Um, go to that. It's a fun, it's a fun follow. I'm uh, on Instagram at Ari Shafir. Foley is at H Foley Comedy. F-O-L-E-Y C-O-M-E-D-Y. Does someone who's garbage spell it correctly like that? I don't think so. Today's studio was built by Toby McMullen. We had a fucking blast designing it, you guys. We decided we really wanted a fucking hangout vibe. We met for two months, two or three months, and just like brainstormed ideas. Yeah, everybody fucking reach out to Toby and tell him how fucking great it was. I gotta fucking find his Instagram. He's gonna be on this podcast um, a couple times. One we did about Scotland when he was in fucking high school, I think. And then, uh, and then another one was, uh, he interviewed me about Thailand, about a full moon party in Thailand. That was actually pretty fucking good. <laughs> Toby McMullen. No, wait, oops. Um, yeah, at Toby.McMullen, T-O-B-Y dot M-C-M-U-L-L-E-N. Um, yeah, let him know you had a good time. Uh, I mean, you enjoy the fucking studio. So. All the episodes now are gonna be in this studio moving forward, unless they're remote or in Austin. I'm still gonna do some from all over the world when I meet people and I wanna do them. I try to do them in fucking weird places. I have a couple coming from Australia, um, in front of some fucking sick graffiti with Luke Heggie about New Zealand, and another one with my friend Ethan McKenzie about uh, me and him took a trip together to, to a small town in Guatemala for some festival. Uh, we met there. In Guatemala and took it. So we'll be doing that. It's also from Gold Coast, Australia. I got one coming with a comedian, Berlin comic, Romanian, named Dragos from, from Romania. We did it about Tokyo. I'm trying to think where else. Anyway, that's it. Next week, fucking Rob goddamn Lowe's in the podcast. Tell us about Egypt. Uh, and he also covered a little bit about Jordan and Israel and just travel in general. That's a fucking wild one. I had no idea. When they told me Rob Lowe wanted to be on this podcast, I was like, uh, all right. Does he get the idea of it? Bro, that guy is a fucking traveler to the goddamn core. That guy fucking ruled. So that's next week. Um, hit subscribe so you don't forget. Hey guys, nothing's gonna bother you if I hit subscribing. What do you think's gonna happen? They're gonna fucking get your information and fucking rob your bank account? I don't think so. And as always, the Patreon keeps going. I'm trying to fill up this whole fucking wall uh, with your postcards from around the globe. I've been getting them and I've been really enjoying them. Um, Half of the Patreon is patreon.com slash UB Trippin is reading your postcards. This one is from Ireland, which is good because I just did an episode in Ireland with Greg Fitzsimmons and another one with Dan St. Germain. Um, here we go. Can you see it? If you can. What does that say? Ring of Byra, West Cork, Ireland. Cool. Postage and everything. Send them to UB Trippin Pod 151 First Avenue. That's the number one. First Avenue, number 49, New York, New York, 10003. Ireland is great. He said, Are there two stamps on either side? Oh, no, that's part of it. Ireland is great. Top five English speaking countries. Oh, interesting. Let's do those US, Canada, Ireland, England, Belize. <laughs> what else? What else is there? Australia? I mean, how many English-speaking countries are there? <laughs> we gotta look that up. We gotta look that up. How many? How many English? Not Tahiti. Speaking countries. Okay, here we go. List of countries of English-speaking countries by population. List. United States. Okay, India is an English-speaking country. Suspect. Nigeria, sus Pakistan, eh, these are all suspect now. The UK, Philippines, no, they speak Filipino. Fuck off. Eligible population, no, 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 no. English speaking countries. I'm not taking that one. Okay, okay, okay. Netherlands, no. No, no, no. I want the actual English speaking countries. How many countries? 
67 countries speak English as main. <gasps> what? What are the top five English speaking countries? United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, South Africa. Interesting. English speaking countries list. Okay, here we go. This is fun. United States, Canada, sure, sure. Top, top two. Canada's got to be up there. Uh, Ireland, Malta. Wouldn't be top five. Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago. Dude, speak English. That's right. I went. It was one of my two countries this year. My next will be during the election. I'm going to get the fuck out of Dodge. Um, Kiribati. That's got to be number one, Kiribati. All right, I'm getting bored with this idea. Let's get back to the postcard. Um, top five English speaking countries. Weather sucks, but people are friendly and the food is seasoned. Would return. Would return. What a trip it's been. Keep on tripping. Crispin. And the view towards the Skellig Islands from the Ring of Bear, West Cork, Ireland. Nice, bro. I'm going to put this up. Here's what I liked about fucking Foley. He went to a... He went to a tourist destination, right? He went to a fucking tourist island, something I would not go to. In fact, I went to Greece and I did not go there. I took a lot of advice from Stavros Halkias, who has said he'll come on the podcast as soon as he's back in New York, which is like uh, into the summer or fall. Um, um, but he got such a fucking joy out of it. It's kind of like Thailand. Thailand, I count as like, a little too touristy for me, but also, don't forget, it's fucking foreign as shit for anyone who doesn't, like, travel a lot. And there's places in Thailand that are way off the beaten path. And also, even Chiang Mai and Bangkok are fucking wild. It's just very set up for tourism, which is good and is bad. But for a guy like Foley, or maybe you uh, out there, you want a place that's a little set up, you know? I took a trip in uh, East Timor. I was, I was, I was in uh, Dili. I heard about a fucking waterfall somewhere this guy found out later he was working for the peace corps just wanted some fucking tourism to his village put up a sign in my hostel in dilly saying um, there's a waterfall got there met the guy cool guy helping them grow fucking uh broccoli should i go over i should keep straight lines this is going up and down it's gonna be tough i'll go right here noise it's growing, everybody. It's growing. Send your postcards in. You don't have to be a patron. I read some of them on here, and I read most of them on the Patreon. Um, but also, why not sign up? What we're going to do is on the Patreon, I'm sending somebody around the world. Once I get 2,000 subscribers, we're, then we're going to have a fucking figure out who. Somebody. doesn't have to be a Patreon listener, but somebody. We're going to figure out. We're going to send them on a year-long trip around the world. Southeast Asia and South America, probably one of the two. They're not going to be living well. They're going to be doing it the way I did, the way people I met did it. But anyway, he still got that adventure from fucking being out there in the world, and that's what I fucking loved. I love that fucking enthusiasm. Um, I get it, too. I get what he was saying about not wanting to get scammed. Like, I don't want to pay for the doom buggy, but then just putting a little... We, you guys don't understand, to be a comedian, we're so poor for so fucking long. That it's like, I can't afford the, a doom buggy. It's fucking $20 a day, $30 a day. And you gotta eventually tell yourself, no, we're good. Um, anyway, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Today's episode, studio was built at Tobin McMullen uh, and Dee's. Um, um, who built the UB, uh, Army Garbage uh, studio. Mine is a lot less space than theirs. <laughs> and we did it in an apartment. We did it really for a hangout vibe. Uh, we got a lot of episodes coming in. People are now starting to do what I was hoping. Um, celebrities and comedians and just like lots of people go, oh, I know what that show is. I've listened to it. I watched it. I have a story, a travel place that I really want to tell you about. Instead of just, I want to do your podcast. It's, oh, no, no, no I've got something perfect for your podcast. Um, I'm going to go back on Are You Garbage? It's been forever. It's produced by your mom's house, edited by Alan Caffey, expertly. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you're not watching these on YouTube, you're missing out. He puts in all these fucking cool pictures and stuff from these guests when they have a trip. 
uh, to take. And then also I get to like look up on the computer. It's different than it was in the studio uh, uh, that I had pri previously. And it's just richer and it's a fucking better watch. Spotify is unchanged. It's going to be awesome no matter what, no matter what you're listening. Um, it's just an extra bonus thing if you're watching. That's it, guys. Please subscribe. Do me a favor before you leave, if you're listening right now. Hit us, hit the old uh, subscribe And um, But that's it. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are, too. It sounds like you guys are. I read the comments on YouTube for the first 24 hours and I respond to them. I'm trying to make jokes. Um, all right, guys. Until next week with Rob Lowe. Wait. How do you say goodbye in Greece? I have a thing right here. I just, oh, I got to do a fucking commercial. Okay. Kafata. Goodbye, jauntily. Avril. I'm reading that fucking thing. Kafata, everybody. Until next week. Bye. Oh, Kafata. Why did I say bye?